and thanks for watching one of my videos. I'm Stephanie, just in case you didn't know. And in today's video, I decided to show you guys how to um, highlight and contour. I show you very, it's very, very beginner friendly. Um, if you are an intermediate or advanced level, this video may not be for you, but this is very, very, very beginner friendly. I show you step by step on how to do everything um, from the color shades to the um, actual application process. I just go really in depth and show you guys how to really just get a flawless, unclockable application of your foundation, your highlight, and your contour shades. Your foundation, your highlight, and your contour shades. Can you count? Um, shades. Um, I just really just want you guys just to be, you know, your beautiful and flawless self and just add just a, <laughs> a little bit of sparkle to it. Um, I, I can't stop with this hand. <laughs> can't stop with his hand. So anyway, that's the thing that's not the point of the story. So moral of the story is I'm just showing you guys how to just get just a beautiful and flawless finish um, and you know cut fish or whatever because you know I'm slicking up the skin in the face. But you would never know it. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. So if you want to know how to go ahead and contour or highlight effectively, then please just keep on watching. Oh, wait, before I switch to the next slide, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to this channel as well as since you're subscribing, hit and hit that little bell right next to it. It notifies you every time that you want to upload. I try to do uploads three times a week, fingers crossed, we can stick to that schedule. And while you're also down there, check the, the description bar down below. It's going to have all pertinent information for this video in that as well as my social media handles so we can be friends outside of this here platform. And while you're just in that vicinity, go ahead and hit that like button. It helps me out a lot um, to go ahead and get more friends added to our little community. And um, even if you didn't like the video, still like it. Um, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you think about the video as well as any kind of information, any kind of video that you want to see next. And so, yeah. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and just whoop, jump right into the next slide. See you later. Okay. Hey guys, so we're jumping right into the video. So what we're going to do today is um, a very, very, very beginner friendly um, makeup tutorial today. Um, what we're going to do is a how to on flawless foundation and a contour and highlight application. This is very, very, very beginner friendly. Um, so first things first that we're going to do is moisturize. Um, the moisturizer that I have been using lately is the um, Cetaphil Moisturizer. This is the Daily Face Moisturizer with a sunscreen. It has SPF 50 plus in here. It's supposed to be for all skin types. And what you really want to do, because I like mattifying foundations, um, so what you really want to do is just make sure that your skin underneath is really 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 moisturized is you want to make sure that your face is fully moisturized because if you do not what will happen is that you'll have flakiness in your application and as well as it um, adds cakiness to it for primer we're going to actually use two different primers today um, just because, like I said, I really want to moisturize. My skin is feeling really dry lately, so I'm using the Fenty Beauty um, uh, Primer. This one is the Pearl Filter Instant Retouch um, Base Primer. Um, it's in soft matte. And then we're also going to use um, the Smashbox Photo Finish, the original blur and smoothing primer. I like to use this primer directly in my actual nose area and right underneath my eyes right here at the very tops of my cheeks just because um, this is where my pores are the biggest at so I'm gonna just put some dots over my face with the Fenty now what we're going to do I'm going to actually take um, a beauty sponge, this is the Morphe sponge, um, and what I like to do, because um, I do tend to get oily really right here in like the crevices of my nose, I'm just some excess powder from the last application and I just like to just 
pound the excess powder right there in the crevices. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera real quick and then come right back. Okay, so we have our eyebrows on. Um, I went ahead and cleaned them up with concealer. I like to do concealer rather than rather than foundation just because um, it gives a more sharper look to the actual eyebrows and they're more prominent on your face rather than if you do foundation, they all just blend in together. Plus, um, it actually helps you with prolonging the time between cleanup jobs when it comes to your eyebrows when you do concealer because concealer is always going to do what? Conceal. So the consistency of concealer is always going to be thicker than a foundation because you're trying to hide something with concealer. So you can able to actually hide the hairs and stuff like that when it comes to um, concealer and stuff like that when you're in between um, cleanup jobs. So for foundation, we're going to use the Huda Beauty um, foundation. This is the um, So Filter High Coverage Cream Foundation. It's in the color Macchiato. Um, I know it looks a lot darker than what I am, but the, the thing about her bottles, I have noticed is that her bottles, the color of the foundation is actually lighter than the actual bottle color. So it looks like hella dark, like it's not my color, but it actually is. What you want to do is um, just put a couple of pumps on your face. And what I like to do first is go in with a dense brush. This is like a two-way brush. As you saw, this is the side that we put our um, primers on and our foundation and our um, moisturizer on. Now I'm going to go in with the other side. It's a really dense brush. Um, it's a foundation brush. I like to use brushes like this first before using a sponge. The reason is, is because when you use a brush rather than a, um, a sponge, um, your application, you'll use, you'll use less, more product with a sponge than you will with a brush. I know that people say, oh, well just wet your sponge. No, even if your sponge is wet, that's, like, that's the whole point of wetting your sponge so that it'll, you know, you won't use that much product, but you still use more product with a sponge because what, what is a sponge literally supposed to do? Soak up stuff. Even if you fill it with water all the way to the tippy top, it's still going to soak up some of the foundation. Whereas with a brush, you're able to just, you know, swivel and swirl around the product exactly where you want it and use the exact amount of foundation that you want to use. So, what I do is I use the brush and I pat the foundation everywhere that I want it to be. Now that we have our foundation exactly where we want it, I'm gonna go in with a clean sponge. This one I like to use is the Morphe sponge um, because of how it is shaped. So as you can see, it's flat and flat, and then it has the point. So you're able to do um, foundation on both sides, rather than with like the sponge, like it's dirty, sorry. Rather than like the sponge, like with Real Techniques, it's just flat on one side. So you have more application um, advantages on this, because what you can do is on one side, use your foundation and clean and you know, more, and put your foundation in, and on the other side, you can actually go in and it fits perfectly underneath your eyes when you're doing your concealer as well. So that way everything blends in together. So what we're going to do now is use one side and we're going to pat the concealer in. So now we're going to work on the top half. So now is the fun part. Now that we have our base on, now we're going to highlight and contour. Do, 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 do. So the highlight that we're going to be using today is uh, from Huda Beauty. It is the Overachiever Concealer, um, High Coverage Creamy Concealer in the color Sugar Biscuit. And then we're going to use the Tarte um, Creaseless Concealer. This is their new concealer, and this is in the color Expresso. Don't actually have to go as dark as I do when it comes to contour. What they say is that from your foundation shade, two shades dark, two to three shades darker is your contour color, and two to three shades lighter 
is your highlight cover. Now, it is really truly honestly personal preference. Me personally, I don't get a lot of sleep. So I try to go as light as possible that I can actually go when it comes to concealer because it brightens my face. And then I have a very round face and I'm not the skinniest girl on the block. So I try to go as dark as possible. This is honestly the darkest concealer that they have. Um, because I like to have a very chiseled and contoured look. So, like I said, it's all personal preference as far as how light or how dark you want to go. So, I'm going to just take the back of a um, brush and I'm going to dip it in the concealer. And we're just going to make little tiny dots where we want to highlight. So, for my round face sisters, a word of advice. What you want to do, it really depends on the face shape of your face. If you have a rounder face like me, you only want to concentrate from eyebrow to nose. You do not want to go all the way into the hairline when it comes to concealer because what that does is widens your face because you're going out. What you want to do, you want to always try to make your face elongated. So, technically your face is going to automatically have a natural contour to it. This is where you're going to contour at. So as you can see, I already have like a darker like type of shadow already hitting me now as you can see. So now what we're going to do is use our dark concealer and we're going to do the same thing but in the place that we want to create shadow. So what contouring does is it creates shadows on your face to get the illusion that you're slimmer in the place that you want to be slimmer at. So what you want to do is, as you can see, like I already have like in the hollows of my cheeks, there's like a natural shadow right here. This is your point of where you want to contour at. Some people say, oh, we'll start up here. No, you want to always follow your personal face. So your personal face is going to tell you where to contour at. So what you want to do is wherever that darkness and that shadow already appears naturally, that's where you want to contour at. This place dots right there we're also going to contour underneath our lip so if you contour here underneath your lips it gives the illusion of a more fuller and plumper look now for your nose contour what you want to do is you want to put it right exactly next to where you highlighted at so that when you blend it out and you blend down it's going to get the illusion of that snatched like Toya Jackson nose. So what we're also going to do is only the temples. What I like to do is go in with the, so what I like to do is go in with the brush that I used um, for my foundation and I blend out the edges of the concealer first. Now, I go in with the sponge, the same sponge that I used, um, the same side of the sponge that I used my foundation on, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to blend it. Go ahead and blend out the contour. What I like to do is squeeze. Okay, so, look, so this is the sponge. What I like to do is turn it on its side and then squeeze to where it's a flat surface like this. And then I go in and I just follow the shape that I created with the concealer. thousand years later now I'm gonna go ahead and set everything into place I'm gonna be using two different powders today the first one is by Huda Beauty this is the banana braid powder and then the um this is the pro filter um, setting powder by Fenty and this is in the color lavender I like to use a banana uh, type of color for my um, 
under your eyes because it brightens up my face. What you want to do, this is another Morphe sponge. It's the same one that we blot it first with. I don't like to have a wet sponge when I'm setting. And then for the lavender, I am going to set my contour. So what this is going to do, where you see that, that the line between contour and face powder, this is where you're going to actually put the powder at. And the reason I like to use the Morphe sponge is because of that flat, that flat, crisp sharpness of it. And you're able to get just a really nice and precise line. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick beat real quick and I'll be right back. So now it is time to dust off all of this powder. Now I'm going to go ahead and set the contour. Um, I'm using a bronzer from um, Morphe Cosmetics, or well, Morphe Brushes Cosmetics. And I'm going to use a contour brush. And what I'm going to do is place the bronzer exactly where we contoured at. Now we're going to add a little blush. I'm using the NARS Orgasm Blush. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight. I'm using the Morphe Spark Highlighter. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and spray our face. I'm going to be using two different ones. I just like to finish up both of them together. Um, this is the Makeup Revolution um, Sport Fix Extra Hold Makeup Fixing Spray. And then this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And I'm going to just add just a little bit more. This is just going to bring it to life. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put on lipstick real quick. Um, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Bittersweet Liquid Lipstick. Okay, so here is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. I hope you guys truly enjoyed this video. You've made it this far in the video, so you might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button. While you're subscribing, you might as well hit that notification bell right next to it. Um, I upload three times a week. That is the goal. Hopefully, we can stick to it. Um, and don't forget to sound off in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about this video as well as any ideas for a video next that's coming up. Also, give this video a big thumbs up. Even if you didn't like it, so give it a big thumbs up. Um, and yeah, and that's all I got. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, and yeah, I hope you learned something. And uh, stick around for the slow mo. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.